back to our Advent devotional series, Cultivate Wonder. I hope that your participation in this process has made Christmas more meaningful and has drawn you closer to God uh, this Christmas season. We are doing a word each day. Today, our word is receive. We receive a lot of things at Christmas time. Receive gifts, receive cards, receive food, all of which are really great. There's one more thing that we can receive this Christmas, and John talks about it in John 1, 12. It says, To all who received him, Jesus, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God. What an incredible gift to receive, to become children of God. There may be a lot of promotions you want in life, but I can guarantee you there is nothing that can compare with the opportunity to be promoted from being not a child of God to being a child of God, to being in the family of God, to being one who receives all the inheritance of this family of God. What a powerful thing that is to become a child of God. And the way to become a child of God is simply to receive. That's unheard of in this world. I mean, I think of places like India where the caste system has been officially uh, made illegal, but it's still part of the culture and the caste system is that people are born at different ranks in their society. And you don't move past your rank in society. And there is below the ranks of society another group of people called the untouchables that don't, don't even qualify to be part of that caste system. And sadly, because they've been so indoctrinated in their culture, they voluntarily amongst themselves created their own caste system. And they never got to move beyond it. There's no way to earn their way up or to move beyond where they were to reach to the top of it to be called a privileged person of society. In American society, we operate a little bit differently. You can earn your way, you can work your way into the elite levels of society and to make something of yourself, become somebody that's famous or popular or wealthy or whatever. You can earn your way there. But God breaks through all of that in this gift of Jesus to us by giving us a chance to become something we could never become on our own, never be able to earn it, never be able to work our way up to it. And it is by far the greatest standing in all of creation. It's the greatest promotion that exists, and you don't have to do a single thing to earn it. You just receive it. All who received it and believed in him have be made, become children of God. They wear with uh, the rest of all of Christians captured there in, in Revelations, the crowns that belong to the family of God, like princesses and princes in the family of God. What an awesome thing, and, and what a gift to be given. So counter to everything else we think about how we must achieve things in this world, God has grace, and he's willing to make us a child of his own a child of his name, a child of his calling, a child of his family. So let's celebrate that this Christmas. There's going to be a lot of amazing gifts given, but don't forget there's one gift that has been given to you, the chance to be called a child of God, and all you got to do is receive it, to believe that Jesus is who Jesus says he is, to believe that he is the Savior, the Messiah, and to receive it and trust in him, and you too will wear the crown of life as a child of God. Up this Christmas season, you are cultivating wonder as you have received Jesus and become a child of God.